Les Paul, Mary Ford. Mary Ford. And in fact, uh, you know, Les Paul had a regular gig, I think it was on Monday nights, almost until the time he passed away a number of years ago at the Iridium Club in New York City. Uh, a regular Monday night gig. Look at this. Here's the 1959 Les Paul standard that is now at $205,000, and the reserve is off. Wow. Yeah, recently out of the Getty Lee collection, of course, the famous bass player for the rock group Rush, a yep. phenomenal bass player and a very serious bass and guitar collector. We say the gold standard or the holy grail of electric guitars, and yep. we're not kidding. Reserve yes, off $215,000. Probably not going to make our top five seller, but nevertheless... Not today. Yep. And $215,000. Hey, our buddy Rick Nielsen. He bought it, and he's throwing picks into the audience. Rick Nielsen, the founding father, guitar player, songwriter for the incredible classic rock band, now classic rock band, Cheap Trick, formed all the way back in the 1970s. Probably the top guitar collector on the planet oh, here man. in the house. One of his signature fun touches is to throw guitar picks, and our buddy Rick Nielsen from my hometown of Rockford, Illinois. Yep. See him there all the time at the grocery store and other places. His son Miles that is, is here so as well. Cool. That is way cool. He just totally bought, unexpected. He just bought the Bullet Mustang of the guitar world.